Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about the B word, bugs. What kind of bugs, you know, what kind of, what can you expect living in Northwest Arkansas about the bugs? So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you could like this video and also subscribe, that would make the world a difference. I try to produce as much content literally as humanly possible about Northwest Arkansas. And so making sure you like that video and also subscribing and make sure that my content goes in front of the right people at the right time. Hey, that could be you. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. So let's talk about the B word, the bugs word. So oftentimes I hear a lot of people talk about how many bugs are in Arkansas. And so I'm not too familiar with how many bugs are in like central Arkansas or southern Arkansas or eastern Arkansas, but I can tell you what's here in northwest Arkansas. And so let's talk about the first one is mosquitoes. So to clarify, I come from Chicagoland. I come from like Northern Illinois. I've been in Wisconsin a lot. I've been in all those areas. And so I have a different comparison to where you might be coming from when it comes to mosquitoes. If anyone's been into the Boundary Waters, if anyone's been into Wisconsin, if anyone's been into Illinois during like the primetime summer season, there's a good chance that you're gonna sit outside and get eaten alive. That's why there's a lot of people that invest a lot of money into like spraying their, their, their land and getting all the candles out and trying whatever sort of like, weird fantastical things that could like get away bugs or get away mosquitoes specifically they try those things in wisconsin and illinois the bugs up there specifically the mosquitoes are atrocious so coming to northwest arkansas was a big relief because i can go out in my backyard and i can sit out there and throw i can do whatever i want and the bugs are gonna leave me alone the mosquitoes are gonna leave me alone because there's really not a lot here i might have gotten bit a couple times in the last couple of years since I've been here. Comparison to Illinois, you will be eaten, literally eaten alive. It's it's horrible. Now, obviously, I think this is just subjective thought process. I think part of the reason why Illinois and Wisconsin are so uh, heavy in mosquitoes is the fact that they're a very big agriculture state. So they have a lot of corn, soybean, a lot of just wet fields. They have the Great Lakes next door to them. They have a lot of just dense forest. Um, Arkansas has those as well, but it's just different. There's not like sitting water everywhere around um, Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas specifically. It's a little bit more drier tempered ground compared to Illinois, which is like obviously very wet all the time. There's a lot of ag. So you, you get the idea. There's just a lot more places in Illinois for mosquitoes and other unwanted individual bugs to grow, obviously. And Arkansas just doesn't have those. The second thing is no seams. Now there are no seams here in Northwest Arkansas, but I do want to talk about anyone coming from Florida or other parts along those like kind of like the, the Florida and the Panhandle. There are no no seams here. Um, if you don't know what no seams are, they're like the little bugs that kind of bite you and pinch you, uh, usually in that's like the tropic areas. And uh, they just don't exist here. So you can go outside, you're not gonna get by, bit by no seams. We don't have screened in porch dedicated with screening for no seams. Um, so they just don't exist here. So that's one thing that I love about it. And that's part of the reason why I chose to move to Northwest Arkansas, besides all the great, amazing things here, was the fact that, you know, you know, obviously a lot of people wanna move to Florida, but the fact is, is that when you go outside during certain parts of the year, you have to sit indoors in a screened in no seam, like designed area so that the bugs can't get through the no seams no seams and they can't bite you. So uh, Florida was off the list for me, North of Arkansas, big for the win. Hmm, that reminds me. I have a 3D itinerary. So maybe you're thinking about coming down to North of Arkansas and you're, and you're quickly realizing there's so much to do because there's so much to do. I have a 3D itinerary link below. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you have kids, maybe you're into sightseeing, arts, culture, all the whole thing. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. And also when you do come down here, we can I can kind of give you the $10 tour, show you the whole area. Plus we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in North of Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. The third thing I wanna talk about is just general gnats and everything other bug types. Now, the thing is, is that coming from Illinois, coming from like the rich soil, very uh, like what's called rich, it's very rich uh, when it comes to like um, soil up in Illinois and, and Wisconsin. There's a lot of bugs up there. There's a lot of bugs. There are probably equally as many bugs in Northwest Arkansas, um, but there's just the bugs that bother you are drastically a lot less here. But besides that, there really are no differences when it comes to like bugs and say when it comes to Illinois and Arkansas. Maybe if you're coming from a very dry temperate area that just doesn't have a lot of like wildlife or bugs in general maybe that might be a big difference for you but for me coming from Illinois to here not a difference at all not a difference when it comes to gnats and just bothersome bugs all right so let's talk about flies so there are two differences with Arkansas and Illinois when it comes to flies now the one thing with Illinois and Wisconsin is that they have a lot of black flies up there horse flies and oh my gosh if you ever get bit by horse fly um, that'll change your life it is life-altering because they are so annoying and they are so big and you can never hit them and they're so annoying and they are all, you're always on a tube somewhere in the middle of a lake and they come at you and you can't escape anyways trauma but yeah horse flies 
are not they don't exist on here at least i've gotten bitten by yet so who knows maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm the one that has never got bitten by one but there are really no horse flies down here there are flies down here obviously like everywhere in the world obviously but there's no real bugs like horse flies or black flies or any sort of things like that they're going to really bother you when you're outdoors doing stuff or anything like that now the one big difference between any sort of like northern state and also anywhere down here in arkansas specifically northwest arkansas specifically are ticks ticks are way more populous down here in comparison to mosquitoes and other bugs like that. So my recommendation for ticks is the fact that if you are on trail in the summertime, spring, like basically spring and summer, um, you're going to be completely fine. Once you go off trail, you get a little bit more dicey territory. You will probably get some ticks on you. So it's recommended that if you are hiking to wear pants or just flick the ticks off as they come along. Not my favorite bug type, don't like them, don't care for them. I, well, what bugs do I care for? But ticks are a thing down here, definitely a bigger thing compared to Northern states. It's one of the things you just have to be aware of. Um, again, if you are on trails, you will, I mean, on actually like on the paved, not paved trails, but if you are on the maintained trails, you're gonna be relatively fine. It won't be a problem. But once you start actually venturing off into random forests and without trails, you, you, might, wanna, you might wanna rethink that a little bit when it comes to ticks. All right, so this is kind of a recap of everything when it comes to bugs in Northwest Arkansas. So this is kind of a, um, we'll call a Philip, a Philip gauge of how many bugs are in Arkansas compared to Illinois. So last night I went on a drive into the sunset, of course, because the sunsets are amazing here, driving through the sunset. And one thing in Illinois and Wisconsin was the fact that if you went in the sunset or even started getting dust time, that's when all the bugs are out, your car would be littered like the whole windshield, bugs, moths, you'd have these massive things in everywhere in your car, like on the front of the, win of the windshield and the front bumper. In Arkansas, it doesn't happen. So that's my, that's my kind of like gauge when it comes to how many bugs actually exist here. If I would go out in Illinois, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be littered, it's gonna be covered in bugs, covered. Um, in Arkansas, no, it's completely fine. If I go show you, show you my car right now, it's gonna be completely clean because there really isn't that many bugs here in comparison to the Northern states. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Really appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you are thinking about moving down to Northwest Arkansas, download my 3D itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're into, you know, sightseeing, arts and arts and culture. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour, kind of show you around the area. And also we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.